Oh my God. Teacher. Charro churro churrito que hay en el teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you today? Good evening. Good, good. And you? I keep practicing reverberator. Reverberator. Practicing, practicing again. It's your time. <risa> y cortáis <risa> le estoy diciendo que le digo a mi esposo hey, cerrar las cortáis y que es las cortáis <risa> teacher no mandó no ha mandado la, la presentación de ayer verdad oh yeah yeah I will do it estás en medio perdón estás en medio ahora sí one minute one minute one minute one minute one moment para que vea Yeah, you know, it, it's important, guys, to practice by right? the, the, the words. Refrigerator. Yeah. Ref ah, refrigerators. <laughs> and curtains, right? Curtains. Okay. Again. Eso es lo que estábamos practicando, Ticho, para que vea que sí hacemos práctica yeah. aquí entre amigos. <laughs> Pero no <Exactly>. nos sale. <laughs> es right, otro lado. Right. Una recomendación. No, eh, no sale ni la ciguanaba, Ticho. La pronunciación. A usted tal vez, César. Una, una recomendación para, la, para, para las palabras en cuanto a pronunciación es que veamos eh, parte por parte, ¿verdad? Veamos la sílaba por sílaba, por ejemplo, de un solo, ¿verdad? Refrigerator. De esa forma, ¿verdad? Si es fácil. O incluso a veces ¿verdad? podemos preguntar cómo se pronuncia o buscar posiblemente alguna parte, una, una página, o incluso, ¿verdad? A veces les recomiendo bastante a, a los, cada uno de ustedes, a cada participante, a cada grupo, eh, poder utilizar, ¿verdad? Diferentes herramientas como YouTube, por ejemplo. No solamente nos, nos, para nos funciona para ver tutoriales, etcétera, o videos, etcétera. Sino que también podemos practicar la, la pronunciación, ¿verdad? How to pronounce something in English. O poner directamente, ¿verdad? How to pronounce la palabra. Y así como ustedes pueden escuchar la pronunciación, de esa forma, en otras páginas también, a veces los diccionarios, ¿verdad? Los diccionarios, ¿verdad? Claro, que son, eh, admiran, todos los diccionarios, ¿verdad? No, eh, no están recomendables Google, ¿verdad? Google Translator. Eh, pero sí les recomiendo esos diccionarios, ¿verdad? Mila, eh, Lingui, es bastante conocido. Y ahí los diccionarios tienen eh, la parte de pronunciación. Entonces ellos se pueden practicar también. Para ir afinando ¿verdad? la pronunciación. Y claro, me pueden consultar también. Hi, teacher. Sorry for being tarde. Hey, look, thank you. No worries. How are you? Teacher, yo me acabo de conectar. Disculpe, Atalán. It's okay, it's okay, no worries. Hey, I, ha I haven't passed the tenants yet. I'm going to pass it now. Vamos a pasar la asistencia ahorita. Alba. Present. You are leaving. Present teacher. You are not in Nora. Anna Stephanie. Brian. Cesar. Present teacher. Elvis. Present. Okay. Emerson. Present teacher. Yo, Gabriela. Present teacher. Harrison. Harrison. Linda. Present teacher. Yo, Jocelyn. Present teacher. Jose. Present. Jose. I'm here. Okay. Karen. Present. Okay. Kenya. I am here. Okay. Lisbeth. Good. Present. Okay. Marco. Present. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar. Present. Bien, Oscar. Ovidio. Ovidio. Here. 
Raquel, Sandra. Present. Sonia. Present. Rosa. I'm here, teacher. You and Jenny. Very good. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, uh, I will repeat the people that is not in the list right now. Maybe he or you know these people join us a moment ago. Voy a repetir nuevamente los que no tengo lista. Posiblemente alguien se acaba de venir. Ana y Nora. Ana Stephanie. Brian. Edison. Creo que estamos bien. Okay. Let's get better, the class. Okay, don't forget to switch on your camera, please. No olvidemos utilizar nuestra cámara. Ahora bien. Bueno, se está haciendo hace un momento, ¿verdad? Con respecto a rapidito, para poder ir avanzando. Con respecto a las palabras. Perdón, teacher. Ahí ¿Sí? está, está Ovidio en el chat del, del WhatsApp. Dice que no puede entrar porque le da error, dice. No sé qué le estará pasando. Perfecto. Ok. Ovidio. Dice que le da el error de que está en otra reunión el anfitrión, dice. Sí. Está entrando en el P1 y la nuestra es P2. Ahí tiene, está malo. Ahí. Eso, eso quizás le pasa. Esta, esa era mi duda que te inició a preguntar eso. Gracias por, por darme. Eso, si... Perdón, teacher. Eso le iba a decir la vez pasada que usted no nos ha mandado para nada el link a, al WhatsApp. Eh, o sea, realmente lo hemos agarrado así desde, desde, desde el correo que nos mandaron de primero y allí no lo tenemos en el WhatsApp. Pero es que el correo, el correo ya estaba específicamente solo para eso, para entrar directamente. Sí. Uh -huh, pero sería bueno que lo tuvieran. Bueno. Ahorita lo voy a compartir el link, lo estoy buscando por acá. ¿Te lo mando? Ah. ¿Lo tienes a la mano? Ya. Yeah. Ok, si lo puede enviar ahorita, yo lo sé. Ah, ahorita, ahorita, o, o ¿lo va a mandar usted? Sí, eh, no sé, por favor. Ok. El, 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 yo también lo tenía en la mano, pero ya que me va a hacer el favor. Perfecto. Ok. Bueno, eh, quizás comentar lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Con, con respecto a eso. No hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Si ustedes me piden que yo envíe el link, yo con gusto. Ahora bien, lo que se hace, ¿verdad? Ustedes siempre reciben en, en su correo. La información, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo, esa información que se nos envía en los lineamientos, yo lo que hago es copiarlo y pegarlo en una en, en, en de notas. Entonces, para que cada uno tenga su, la información, ¿verdad? El, el curso. Ahí están los links, todos los links, para que ustedes puedan ingresar. Entonces, el link de la, de la clase, esa, esa también. Eh, revisamos el correo, si no tienen eso, ese correo, no tienen esos links, a mí no saben, yo no sabía. Bueno, esperamos que se una el video. Sí. Okay. ¿Qué más se acaba de unir? Además. Oh, eso. Hello, Gerson. Good evening. Buenas. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Thank you. How are you? Tuve algo de problemas ahora por, para entrar. It's okay, it's okay. I think some of your classes are having some issues. But I don't know if you can something no problem with your class. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and eh, lo que esperamos a los demás, a los demás compañeros, o video, posiblemente, o los demás. Eh, quisiera saber si hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta con respecto a ejercicios en la plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Hemos avanzado? Todo bien, Ticho. Yo el, el, el medium, eh, exam, este, ya lo terminé, solo me falta la primera porque lo estaba haciendo en una computadora que no tenía audio eh, y tengo que oír la conversación, por eso ya no, no lo terminé. Perfecto, no se preocupe, eh, para el medium todavía hay tiempo, ¿verdad? pero claro, como se les he mencionado, si ustedes van avanzando eh, y, lo, y lo hacen, háganlo. 
tengan chance para hacerlo, háganlo. No hay ningún problema. Que ustedes avancen la plataforma. Si es que ese se va a explicar el miércoles, ¿verdad? Para los que vamos al día o los que posiblemente nos hemos atrasado, el miércoles se va a explicar el midterm, ¿verdad? Thank you, Jenny. Yeah. You're the list. Thank you so much. Bueno, que eso es solamente hacer un recordatorio, ¿verdad? Otra vez de la plataforma. Y vamos con la clase. Eh, please, no olvidemos completar hasta la sección 3 esta semana. Sería la segunda semana. Tenemos que tener completos la sección 3 y el meter, ¿verdad? Los que seamos pendientes con alguna sección, con la sección 2 específicamente, he observado que si hay dos o tres personas, ¿verdad? Me parece en ese grupo. Eh, ayer que lo mencioné, eh, que no han completado, no, ¿verdad? Específicamente. Pero que lo han hecho, ese día se van a estar actualizando ese control de notas y invitarlo a seguir con la sección 3 para esta semana. Así es que solamente eso. ¿Hay alguna duda? ¿Alguna pregunta con algún ejercicio? Ah, no sé. ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. Excelente. Y vamos a ver. Let's continue. Okay, let's go with the topic. The reason the R. That is the topic for today. Class number six. Today is Tuesday, March 22nd. Let's begin. When do we use the reason the R? That is the first thing that we need to discuss. There it is. And there are are used. Okay. Se me ha todo el teclado. Used to express or mention things that exist or don't exist. Okay. Se que le pasaba mi teclado, se, 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 se ha vuelto loco. <ríe> eh, bueno, supongamos que es el, el apóstol. Um, don't exist in a place. Okay. The reason the R are used to express and make or mention things that exist or don't exist in a place. When I say a place, I'm referring to different, you know, locations, right? For example, a house, right? We're talking about parts of the house. Bedroom, living room, dining room, bathroom, kitchen, etc. Those are different locations, different places, right? And we can express things that exist and don't exist. For example, for example, if I talk about my my bedroom, my bedroom, this is my bedroom, right? My bedroom. You cannot see my bedroom because I'm using a background, right? No pueden ver mi, mi, mi habitación. O sea, mi habitación. Porque tengo un, un fondo, ¿verdad? But, for example, I can say there is a TV. In my bedroom. This is a thing that exists, right? This is a thing that exists in my bedroom, right? There is a TV over here, right? There is a TV in my bedroom. But if I say there isn't a sofa in my bedroom. Listen, I'm going to use long form because as you can see, uh, I don't have the, the key, the keyboard is in the right, right way, right? But I would do something, as I said before, as I said yes, right? I will look for the possible. Tengo ahorita el teclado algo loco. Me sale la cosa. Ok, I will use, you know, long forms. Let me see here. It's not here. What's going on? I think it's because it's in Spanish, right? 
Oh, yes. So this is what I what I what, what I used to do, guys. I tend to look for the the the, the character on the internet, right? That's it. There isn't a there isn't a sofa in my bedroom. That is the way. There isn't a sofa in my bedroom. Okay. So in this case, this is a, a thing that doesn't exist, right? In my bedroom, I don't have a, a sofa. So I say there isn't a sofa in my bedroom. Okay. So that is where we express <clears throat> there is, right? There is. There is or there are. Let me give you the following explanations. There is and there are. When do we use there is? When do we use there are? There is is used for singular nouns. There is is used for singular nouns. Teacher, one question. Come in. Eh, cuando ponga las imágenes, las podría dejar un momentito para leer. Porque siento que la quita muy rápido la imagen. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. There is is for singular nouns, right? Singular nouns. One thing. One thing. So, look at the picture. Look at the picture. We have a table and we have a bowl, right? So I said, there is a there is a bowl under the table. There is a bowl, one, right? There is a bowl under the table, right? But it's a thing that exists, right? In that specific order. There is a bowl under the table. So we use there is for singular nouns, okay? There are, there are issues for pronouns, right? We say now, Balls, for example, look at the photo. In the photo, we have a table again and we have two, two balls. Two balls. So now I said there are two balls under the table. There are two balls under the table. So there is for singular forms, singular nouns, and there are is for pronouns. That is the way. That is for singular nouns, that are is for pronouns. There is a bowl under the table. And there are two bowls under the table. Okay. That is the difference. That's the difference. Any questions so far? Cuando es en plural. Teacher, por lo que veo como que eh, tiene que ser bien en específico la cantidad de objetos que está señalando o a lo que se refiera. Yeah, yeah, you can specify, but it's not exactly in that way. Because you can say there are bolts. Mm -hmm. There are bolts under the table. So it's not necessary to, I mean, if you want to specify, you can do it, right? But if we say there are balls under the table, it's possible. Okay? So we don't specify, okay, two balls, for example. Okay? There are balls under the table. That is plural. No necesariamente, verdad, se, se especifica. Sin embargo, verdad, la mayoría de, de, de ejemplos o de personas utilizan algo específico. There are two balls under the table. Or there are balls under the table. Or in some cases, we use uh, quantifiers, right? We can say there are some balls under the table. When I say some, I'm referring to, you know, I'm referring to, for example, let's say, come on, I, I use, okay, I will use those ones. I'm referring to five, from five, let's say to, Eight things, for example, right? Five, eight things, right? some. Algunos, right? Algunos. Aluli. Yes, teacher, I formula para eso? Mm, yes. This one. Okay. Aplica alguna regla? 
I'm sorry. Aplica alguna regla para el uso del there is, there are. Mm, this one. There is. Let's go, you know, form by form. There is plus. Okay, listen, this is, this is affirmative. And this is negative. Okay. First one. There is plus a singular now. There is plus. Singular now. Example, there is a book on the desk. There is a book on the desk. One book, one book, right, one book. I can say there is a laptop on my desk. There is a laptop on my desk. I'm talking about my laptop, right? There is a laptop on my desk. I have just one laptop, okay, one laptop. So there is plus singular now, okay? Again, I can say, right? Examples that I'm giving you, right? And I said that it's a TV in my bedroom. That is plus a singular now. There is singular now, singular now. That is a TV in my bedroom, okay? There is a book on the desk. The second form, we have that are plus a plural now, right? We say books, we say uh, laptops, windows, uh, cell phones. So those are plural now, right? And I said there are books. This one is different now. There are books on the desk. We don't say, we don't say there are a books on the desk, no. There are books on the desk. So see, in this case, we don't specify. Okay, I think it was Harrison, right? We don't specify. So we say in general, there are books on the desk. But if you want to specify Harrison and everybody, you can say uh, there are, let's say, let's count this ones, right? We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can say there are six books on the desk. So in that case, I specify. But if you say there are books on the desk, it's okay. It's okay. Right. So that is there are plus pronouns. Pronouns. Okay, this is that is the second form. The second form. There is in there are. That is in there are. That is the way, that is the rule that we apply. Okay, questions? Okay, questions? Teacher, where is uh, incontable? Es el que uh -huh. no se puede contar, es el que no se puede contar, o sea, tengo entendido yo, pero ese siempre va a ir con el is. Yes. Porque son muchos, ¿verdad? Se refiere a mucho, y no a muchos. Exactly. I, I will explain that. I will explain that okay. now. Ahorita voy a explicar. Vamos paso a paso. Okay. The third rule. There is plus uncountable now. Right. Yeah. As I said, when we have uncountable nouns, it's because we cannot count it. Right. We cannot count it. Cuando tenemos sustantivos sin contar, es porque no los podemos contar. Right. For example. Countable nouns. You can say, right, Apple, laptop, computer. You can say a cell phone, a book, etc. Those are countable nouns because you can say one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, one cell phone, two cell phones, three cell phones. Or cell phones, etc. Those are countable nouns. But if we have uncountable nouns, uncountable nouns is because we have these nouns, right? Honey, traffic, milk, pizza, etc. Those are uncountable nouns. I'm sorry. Repeat again. 
Oh no, start. Start, what do you mean? Uh, incontable. Can you spell it, please? Spell it's it infinite, up. infinite. Oh, you say stars. Yes. The stars is, um, is countable. Countable? Yes, mm. because you can say one star, two stars, two stars. Podemos contar las estrellas. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Toda la noche contando. El... No, teacher. Yeah, one star, two stars. Two stars. <laughs> <laughs> countable, yeah, countable. And countable, uh, it can be maybe a sky. Even you can you can say skies, right? Skies. No, a sky can be considered as countable, right? Sorry, countable. But a countable, right? Money, traffic, milk, pizza, water. You cannot say it, right? One money, two money, three money, right? Even in Spanish. No podemos decir, no podemos contar, right? El dinero, la palabra dinero en sí. Listen. No vamos a decir un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros. No. You can count dollars. Dollars, pizza, pens. Una pizza, dos pizza, tres pizza. Y, yeah. Se puede contar. It, it can be, it can be. Listen. Grammatically, no. No, gramaticalmente no. Nos, Why no? Nos, nosotros nos acostumbramos así, incluso, y está incorrecto gramaticalmente. No podemos decir una pizza, dos pizzas, tres pizzas. Sin embargo, lo decimos. Y ahora nos acostumbramos, pues, pero gramaticalmente no. Debemos decir una caja de pizza, dos cajas de pizza. Eso es lo correcto. Es, eso sería lo correcto. Yes. Pizza is uncountable. Dos say, botellas de agua, tres exactly. botellas de agua. Exactly. So, El problema es que si uno llega pidiendo cajas de pizza, no le van a dar la no, pizza, la, le van a dar la caja. No, la caja. Sí. Yeah, good point, good point, good point. Exactly, buen punto, buen punto. La, la leche, leche también, porque decía una botella de leche, dos botellas de leche, tres botellas exactly. de leche. Exactly. Grammatically, but grammatically, you know, going back to academic writing, grammatically is incorrect. That's why milk is, for pizza is uncountable. Milk is the same, right? Milk is uncountable. Así toda es... la comida, como arroz. Entonces, entonces si es correcto llegar a la tienda y pedir una bolsa de agua. Yeah, it is. Yes, uh, it can be like a bag of water, right? Water or a bottle of water. En realidad, se tendría que ser. Nosotros decimos un agua, dos aguas. <laughs> y claro, eso es lo que nos acostumbramos, pero gramaticalmente no, es incorrecto. No, pero bueno, depende de cómo lo han educado, ¿verdad? Porque yo llego claro, pidiendo claro, claro. una botella de agua o una bolsita de agua con claro. agua. Claro. No, me refiero, ¿verdad? No me refiero a todos. Ah, ok. Claro, claro. Yo sé que no. Mire, César, como es de Santa Ana. <ríe> bueno. Y, ok. Y, I think someone raised. Que ya empieza yeah. Leli conmigo. Yeah. Que me va a nombre. Y, y dale con Leli. Respect, respect. <ríe> no sé si alguien tenía alguna pregunta que le entrara a mano. So, going back to there is another arm. No voy a tener mucho acá, porque eso es otro tema aparte. Tanto bueno, cuanto más, pero es muy importante, ¿verdad? Eh, recordarlo. Esos temas posiblemente ya lo vimos. Posiblemente no. Depende. Eh, but yeah, it's important. Why? Because there is, it eh, can be used for uncountable nouns. We can say, there is some milk in the fridge. There is some milk in the fridge. We tend to use quantifiers, quantifiers. Tendemos a utilizar expresiones de cantidad. Hay some, eh, any. If we use, for example, no. As we were asking me yesterday, right? No. Eh, most of the times, some in any, right? Some in any. Some in any are the same. What is the difference? Some is for affirmative. And any is for negative in questions. You say, right? There is some water in the fridge. Right? 
affirmative. And you say negative, there isn't, isn't a oh, um, philosophy, the philosophy, the philosophy, is it? No, disculpar que se ahí, pero no sé qué le pasó a mi teclado, tengo que reiniciar y se va a poner normal. Any water in the fridge. Teacher, siempre vamos a ocupar some y any. Siempre. Mm, yes y no, because in some cases you can say just like this. There is water in the fridge or there isn't water in the fridge. Yeah. In some cases you tend to vary. In algunos casos tiende a variar también. Va a depender de los de las expresiones de cantidad. Because you can say hey, I believe, there is a lot of water in the fridge. Y es afirmativa. Yeah. And we can use the same in negative. Lo mismo negativo. There isn't a lot. There isn't. There isn't a lot of. There isn't a lot of water in the fridge. Okay. O sea, podría variar. Exactly. So when you say a little, so a, a lot of you are referring to a little, right? A, a little lot water. Of, a, lot of, a lot of, okay. When decimos there isn't a lot of water in the fridge, nos estamos refiriendo a lo, a lo puesto, a little, un poco. Teacher, varía según, según la oración o según lo que uno quiera decir, o varía yes. este... Correcto, porque digamos, si, por ejemplo, usted quiere decir que este, hay bastante agua en, en el suelo. Un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, there is, a, there is some water in the floor. On the floor, on the floor. In the floor, yes. Yeah. Yes, eh, también pienso yo que ahí pues, el any solo es para el negativo, ¿verdad? Que ese sí no me quedó claro. Porque una vez vi yeah. que, una vez vi que parece que, quiero ver la última clase que tuvimos, quiero ver, yo la última que tuve fue el viernes, eh, perdón, el jueves. Ayer no pude venir. Este, me acuerdo que vi una, una, una frase que decía many. Many, oh. no any. Yeah, but many is different. Many is another okay. quantifier. Yeah, any is different. Any is similar to some. It's the same. Any and some are the same. No, if you don't want to use it, don't use it. You can okay. say there, there isn't water. It's okay. There isn't water. There isn't. Not there water. isn't water. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Aquí va a depender cómo se lo expresan, pero caso son plan, por lo general, pero cuando hablamos de líquidos, lipids, tenemos a, a decir cantidad, poco, sante, etc. Y depende de los quantifiers, ¿verdad? Y acá no me voy a detener mucho con los quantifiers, porque repito, no, no estamos viendo eso ahorita, sino que debe ser el R. Pero, ¿verdad? Cabe recalcar eso, ¿verdad? Cabe mencionar eso eh, de los quantifiers. Específicamente voy a estar hablando de eso, some and any. Some is for affirmative, only for affirmative. There is some water in the fridge. Eh, there is some traffic in San Salvador. There is some traffic. In San Salvador. Okay. And if you want to use negative, you have to say there isn't any water in the fridge. Or you can say there isn't there isn't any traffic in San Salvador. Okay. This is impossible. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is, it is. <laughs> exactly. In the morning, it's a mess. Can I say, Felix, uh, for example, this is impossible for tomorrow if, uh, 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 or evening, <laughs> can I say? In the morning or tomorrow, what do you say? Yeah, yeah tomorrow, in the morning. Tomorrow morning. For in the morning. morning. You can the say morning, tomorrow. There morning. is a... There is uh, some uh, traffic. traffic. Oh, but, but in that case, it's different, my friend. Yeah. It's in, there, in is, future. there is not any, it's, it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, it's different. With, oh, okay, I, I found the possibility. I found the possibility. 
eh, there, there won't be traffic in San Salvador. Eh, eso es diferente, ¿verdad? Ya es el futuro. So, eh, tomorrow morning, there won't be traffic in San Salvador. So this is the future. No, no quiero confundirlo, ¿verdad? Pero eso es la idea. Okay. Eh, well, summon any. For this form, there is plus and countable now. But when it's affirmative, we use some, right? Some. There is some milk in the fridge. If we use negative, you have this forms, right? First, there isn't plus singular now. Okay. So now you say there isn't a pen on the table. I can say, right? There isn't a sofa in my bedroom. There isn't a sofa in my bedroom. Right? That is a thing that doesn't exist in my room, right? It's a silo que no existe, no lo tengo en mi cuarto, right? There mm -hmm. isn't a sofa in my bedroom, right? And remember that in these cases, we're using a contractions. Contractions, right? When you say there is not, you know, this equals, there isn't. You can say there isn't, or you can say, you can say uh, there's not, there's not. There isn't or there's not. There isn't or there's not. If you say there are not, the contraction is there aren't. There aren't. Only that one, only that one. So you can say there is not, or you can say there isn't or there, there's not. You can say there are not, or you can say there aren't, okay? So affirmative, sorry, negative. There, is, there isn't plus singular now. Again, we follow the same rule. Siempre lo mismo, mismo patrón, ¿verdad? There isn't plus singular now. You say there isn't a pen on the table. If it is plural, you use the aren't plus plural now. So you can say there aren't any pens. This time we use any. Or you can use, or you can say just the iron pens here, just like this. It's correct. There aren't pens here without, you know, any. Okay. You can omit it, right? But podemos omitir, no ningún problema. There aren't pen, there aren't pens here, or there aren't any pens. Okay. In the last one, we have there isn't plus uncountable now. We can say there isn't any juice in the fridge. So we have there isn't plus uncountable now, right? There isn't any juice, juice is uncountable in the fridge. Okay? That is the way. This is the way we use affirmative and negative one. Affirmative, negative. Okay? Good. Any questions? Questions, questions. Oh. So good. All good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, let me give you, and I'm going to go from here, right? Because I want to give you the questions. With the questions, it's easy. It's easy. Why? Because we follow this. With questions, what we do is just this. We use is there. Is there. And we have the singular noun, right? For example, plus the singular noun. Okay. This is the way, right? And the question mark. Let me look for the question mark. Okay. Is there plus singular, right? Singular now. So you say, is there a TV in your bedroom? 
in because it's a yes no question. We say yes, there is, or no, there isn't. That is the way we answer for this kind of questions. Right? Is there a TV in your room? Yes, there is, or no, there is. Emerson. Se puede decir entonces, is there a bathroom in your bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. It's correct. Is there a pattern <clears throat> in your bedroom? Yes, there is. Other oh, is. Yeah. For example, let me try. Let me let me uh, practice right with you. Let me see. Um, Marco. Is there a TV in the bedroom? Yes, not. No, there is not. There is not. No, there is not. Very good. No, there is not. Um, Glinda, is there a TV in the bedroom? No, there is not. No, there isn't. No, there isn't, or no, there's not. Yeah. Lisbeth, is there a TV in your bedroom? No, there isn't. There isn't, okay. Oscar, is there a TV in your bedroom? No, there isn't. There isn't, okay. Karen, is there a bathroom in your, in your bedroom? Yes, there is. Oh, there is, okay, good. Emerson, is there a bathroom in your bedroom? No, there is not. Okay, no, there's not. No, there, no, there isn't, it's okay. Uh, let me see. Sandra, is there a bathroom in your bedroom? No, there isn't. There is, okay. So that is singular upon, right? Is there, and that's a singular noun. What about if we have a pronoun, right? It's easy. Yes, we use are there plus okay, for now. Are there plus a pronoun, right? And we say are there. Mm, let's say any windows, any windows in your bedroom? And you answer, yes, there are, no, there aren't. This is the way. Are there any windows in your bedroom? If you want to be more specific, you can say, are there Two windows in your bedroom. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. For example, see, Wilson, are there two windows in your bedroom? Yes. Yes, there yes. are. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Good. Okay. Hey, Kenya, are there two windows in your bedroom? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Very good. Ovidio, are there two windows in your bedroom? Yes, they are. Okay. There are, remember. There are. There yeah. are. Yes. Because if you say they are, you're saying this, right? They are. They are. They are. There are. There are. There are. Okay. Be careful. Gabriela, are there two windows in your bedroom? Yes, they are. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yes, no, there are. Yeah, exactly. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. No, they are. They are is different, right? It's different. They, they are. Yes, yes, there are. There are. Yeah. Uh, Cesar, are there two windows in your bedroom? No, there are. There are. Yeah. So this is the way, guys, we make questions. Just the questions. We have Polish questions at the same time, right? We tend to have this kind of questions, right? Like how many plus a plural noun 
class order. Okay, so you want to ask for quantities. For example, how many students are there in this class? How many students are there in this class? There are how many? How many? 15? 20? Yeah. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you for counting me, right? Thank you for counting me. <laughs> because we're 24, uh, because I'm in the list too. So actually, you're 33. So there are 23 students in this class. Okay, lo que se sabe que en zona aparecen 24, porque me incluye, ¿verdad? <laughs> but thank you, thank you for only, counting. Only, only two, 23, 23 students, exactly. one teacher. Exactly. Exactly. There are 20, 23 students in, in, the, in this class. Another example is how many uh, days are there in February? In days. days. 28, okay. there are 28 days, days in February. In February. En algunas ocasiones tiene 29. Exactly, 29, right? Cada cuatro años. Exactly, so we call it like leap day, right? Leap day. Leap day. Okay. Año bisiesto. Okay. Um, well, this is the way, guys, we construct questions, affirmative and negative, with the reason there are. Can you? Sí, eh, utilizando estas figuras, podríamos eh, utilizar eh, do or does. O exactly. solamente con ese. Oh, with the reason there are. Uh -huh. No, in this case, we, we don't, eh, don't pay attention to do or does in this case, right? That is simple present. This is the reason they are, okay? Mm -hmm. So we use only that. Is there, are there, only that, only that. Thanks. Yes. You're welcome, thank you for asking. Okay. En ese caso, hagamos a un lado el, el do el das, ¿verdad? Simple present. No, aquí no cuenta. ¿verdad? Hago un lado. So is there or there, are there? Only that, only that. Very good. Thank you for asking, thank you for asking. Okay, we're going to practice, listen, we're going to practice. And now I have, oops, I remember that I have animations. Perfect, it's okay. Uh, here we have a, a, a bedroom, right? This is my bedroom, my bedroom, okay? As you can see, we have a lot of objects, right? Furniture, etc. First, before I give you the examples, right? You can see them. What can you see? What can you see? I can see a window. What else? What else? A Come desk. Out. A desk. Okay. What else? Come the, out. the cars. cars. Or the autobus. Autobus. Yeah, Oish. a car, a bus. Sorry? Okay. Oish. A teddy Oish. bear. A teddy bear. Good. Teddy. Teddy bear. A teddy bear, yeah, teddy bear. A picture. A picture, but a poster, right? Poster. Okay. There are some book. books. Books. There are some books, book. good. There are some books. Okay. A lamp. A lamp, yes. Curtains. Curtains, yeah. Red curtain. Dresser. Yeah, a dresser. Or it, it could be a bedside table. Bedside yeah, table. Sorry? Toys. Toys, yeah, toys, exactly. Toys. This is a better table. It could be a dresser. It could be a dresser. But most of the times we call it a better table. This is a small, right? A small one. Esa más pequeñita, ¿verdad? La mía, esa, esa, ese pequeño mueble, ¿verdad? En el cual se guardan otras cositas, ¿verdad? Posiblemente, ¿verdad? Con una cosa se guarde eso, ¿verdad? Eh, ropa. Dresser. Okay, have in mind all those objects. This is a way you express right ideas with the reason there are. 
Now we're going to express the things that exist and don't exist. For example, there is a window. Okay, there is a window over here, right? There is a window. Uh, there is a teddy bear. What is a teddy bear? Okay, over here. There is a teddy bear. There is a ball. It's a ball over, over here. There is a ball, right? There are some books. There are some books here, right? And there are two pencils. There are two pencils. We had two pencils, right? Okay. So here we have the two pencils, right? Pencils. That is affirmative, right? Of course. So we have mentioned things that exist. Only things that, things that exist, right? So let me mention now a cosita que exists about that. Why not? Right. There is a window. I can say negative. I can say negative. And I need you to look at the picture, please. There isn't. There isn't a uh, TV in my bedroom. Right. So if you look at the picture, so we can say right, there is there is not a TV in my bedroom. Right. So I cannot see a TV. Right. You see a TV. No TV. No, right? Yeah. No. no, there is not. Exactly. So, teacher, there, there isn't not shoes oh, okay. in, the, in the, my bedroom. Exactly. In that, case, in that case, Alili, you have to say there aren't because shoes is plural. Aren't oh, shoes? There aren't in the shoes in the bedroom. Exactly. There isn't a computer. There isn't a computer. Good. Exactly. It's not a computer. Yeah, we cannot see a computer, right? No. Yeah, there isn't a computer on in, in the bed. What did you say? There isn't a computer, right? There is a wardrobe. Sorry? There isn't a bike. There isn't a bike. Okay. There isn't a bike. Yes. Okay, listen. I know that you want to give me more examples. Hit us on, yeah. There is a wardrobe. There is a? Wardrobe. Oh, okay. I think like this, right? A wardrobe. Yes. It's, it's color, color green. Ah, okay. This Next one, right? to the bed. Exactly. So that is a wardrobe, or it can be the best at table. It's the same. It's a table or a yes. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Harrison. Okay, listen, now I need you to practice. Now, you guys, in your notebooks, you're going to write the things that exist and don't exist in your bedrooms. Now, your bedrooms. What are those habitations? Mostly, let's, you're going to use there is and there aren't. There is, there aren't, there isn't, and there aren't. I need you to tell, I need you to write your notebooks. Please, at least. Let's say four sentences because of the time, right? We, it's almost time. Four sentences and you to express things that exist and don't exist in your bedroom. In your bedroom, right? Use there is, there isn't, there are, and there aren't. Follow the examples and now is your turn. Okay? In your notes. Ahora es tu turno. En su cuaderno, acepta su habitación. Things that exist and don't exist. Objetos, cosas que existen o no existen. Go ahead, take your time. How to money? I'm sorry? How to money time? How many sentences? You have to write four. Four sentences. Four. Two in affirmative and two in negative. Uh, okay. Yes. Go ahead, if you have some questions, let me know, please. If you have some questions, let me know. Si hay preguntas, hágamelo saber. Para en su turno.
por el tiempo vamos a escribir solo cuatro, ¿verdad? Pero claro, va a quedar eh, una, una actividad para ustedes como práctica para que sigamos. Using the rest the arm, right? Ready. Do you finish? Ready. Yes, I finish. Okay. Listen, listen. Because of the time, Right, it's almost time, and I need to listen to some of you. I need to tell me one thing that exists and one that doesn't exist. Okay, one in one. Volunteers. For example, okay, there is a TV in my room. There are some shoes in my in my room. Only that. Sandra. There is um no, there is some toys in my bedroom. And there aren't curtains. Okay. For me, Sandra, curtains. 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 Repeat after me. Curtains. 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 Okay. Very good. Thank you. Amazon. Number one, there is, there is a window in my bedroom. There is using a bag in my bedroom. There aren't shoes in my bedroom. There aren't, uh, there aren't lamps in my bedroom. Excellent. Thank you, Amazon, for the examples. Somebody else? Hallelujah. Hey, Karen. Uh, there is a TV in my bedroom. There are two night tables in my bedroom. Bedroom. There isn't a lamp in my bedroom. There aren't any toys in my bedroom. Yes, well done, Karen. Thank you. Elvis. There is a bed in my bedroom. There aren't any books in my bedroom. Great. Thank you, Elvis. Uh, we continue with Wilson. Wilson? There is a bed in my bedroom. There are some shoes in my bedroom. There aren't a TV in my bedroom. They are, there aren't a bedside table in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Uh, some observations, Wilson, because you're using singular forms. There isn't a TV. There isn't a TV. And there isn't. What was the last one? Repeat again. La última. Ah, uh, I say a bedside table. Sí, teacher, and no me acuerdo qué será para plural, ¿sí? It's okay. It's okay. You have to say, Wilson, there isn't a TV and there isn't a bed of tape. Okay. Thank you. That is right. You're welcome. Okay. I guess I have another participant. I saw that somebody else raised the hand. I don't know. Do I have more volunteers? There yes. Is a How is it pronounced? Oops, oops. Me quise poner, there is quad ranch. No I'm sé sorry? si se pronuncia así. Repeat again, sorry. There is two ranch in my bedroom. What do you mean, sorry? Eh, no sé si that. se pronuncia así. Hay una zapatera en mi cuarto. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, a shoe. A shoe, a shoe rack. Shoe rack. 
Mm -hmm. Shurak. Shurak. Yes, Shurak. Very good. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go with Sonia, and then I think Gabriela is going to help us, right? Sonia? Uh, in, my bear, in my bedroom, there is a computer, there is a bed, there are shoes, there are in, any pencil, there is a sofa, there is an alarm. Yes, very good. Sonia, thank you. Oh, sweet. Okay. In my room, there is there is a TV. A, there are there are a two window. A, there is not there is not uh, there is not bedroom in my in my uh, bathroom in my bedroom. There is not shoes. <laughs> there is no shoot shoot uh, the floor, yes. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to say, uh, Jose, there are not shoes. There are not shoes. On the floor. Because it's plural. plural. There aren't, yes. There aren't. There yeah, aren't. Exactly. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Jose. Thank you, too. Uh, we're going to finish with Cesar, right? Because of the time. Cesar. Okay. Hey. There is a picture, there is a ball, there is an, a stove, there is an, a TV, there are any box, there are any toys, there aren't shoes, there aren't glosses. Okay. Okay. Some observations, there are some toys because it's plural. Uh, Cesar, you use okay. plural, you have to use some. Okay, okay. If you say aren't, Cesar, you have to use any. Remember, any toys. So the difference, right? Affirmative, we use some, and negative, we use any. Okay. Only that, Cesar. Yeah, tell me. Tell me, Jose, tell me. Hey, can I say, uh, can I say in my room or in my bedroom? It's, it's okay, both are correct. My room or my bedroom, it's okay. Yes. You can use uh, both. This is, yeah, this is like. It's the same, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah, okay, listen guys, because of the time we're going to start right here, but I want to assign you an activity, right? This will be an extra practice for you. Okay, first, you need to look at the exercises shown and you need to complete with there is in the R, okay? Look at the picture and complete. There is, okay, there are. There is, there are. It depends, it depends, okay? So this will be an extra practice for you, also an extra homework, complete. And I want to assign you another activity. Esa va a ser una, una práctica, ¿verdad? Una, por decirlo así, una tarea extra. Quiero que practiquen con ese tema. Y al mismo tiempo, les quiero decir lo siguiente. Ahora que hemos visto todo ese vocabulario de las habitaciones, living room, dining room, eh, kitchen, bathroom, quiero que hagamos el mismo ejercicio. My bathroom. In my bathroom, there is a shower, etc. In my kitchen, there is a stove a refrigerator, uh, microwave oven, etc. Okay, so do the same exercise, do the same exercise. All, all house, full exactly. house. Exactly, exactly. Pero por seccionado, ¿verdad? por habitación. Quiero que lo hagan el ejercicio, para tus cuadernos, aparte, ¿verdad? Para que practiquen. Cuando dice el lado. Okay, eso va a ser práctico para cada quien. Any questions? No questions. No. Okay. Somebody else? No. Oh. Any more questions? Que estará a ver. Todo está bien, todo claro. 
All is all right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys. So that would be your activity. I'm going to send this in the chat so you can work in the extra homework. Or in the other super chat, what's up? So you can practice. Okay. Well, guys, this is all for today. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you tomorrow. I want to wish you a great night. Happy night. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Blessings. Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Sure. Goodbye.